Hi everyone, this is Neil Writer here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. I'm bringing together a couple of cases for you in this compilation video, and this is patient one. And patient one attended with fully occluding earwax in this their left ear, and as you may have just seen, their right ear is semi occluding. Uh, they had been using a cotton swab, um, a cotton bud if you're in the UK. And you can actually see the imprint, the indentation on the surface of this wax plug. So it's really impacted. And I'm just using the fine end suction probe here to delicately try to peel away, lift this impacted wax and skin off the canal wall. Now, when it's impacted like this, it is strongly adhered to the ear canal. So I've decided to install some olive oil spray. And what that's going to do is just soften the surface of this wax plug. And it will also help to lubricate the, the canal wall itself. So, and as you can see, I'm just teasing this wax off the canal wall so the olive oils work to treat and slowly but surely bringing that out. So the eardrum's intact. Just got some residual wax at the base of the ear canal. They've got, as you may have noticed there, quite a, a narrowing deeper in the ear. So, as we approach the eardrum, our ear canals do narrow naturally and around half a centimetre before the eardrum, that's the, the maximum narrowing of the ear canal. We call that the isthmus. So an isthmus is the medical term given for an internal narrowing in an orifice. And then the ear canal widens again and that's created a little V-shaped ear canal for the patient. You'll see that again in a moment, the, the, the floor of the ear canal. There's quite a, st a steep valley there. And just with the fine end, just going around the edge, just to see if I can get any of this residual wax or skin. If not, I'm not overly concerned because it's not occluding. But we're just gonna go, just gonna hover over it. So we're on the bony part of the ear. We've got to be really gentle here. We don't want to be stabbing into the canal wall because that would be uncomfortable for the patient. And again, I'm using the fine end suction probe, so it's quieter. We don't need the full power of suction in, in this case. So it's just um, better tolerated by the patient. I mean, you can reduce the suction noise if, if wherever possible. You can see that um, they've got quite a prominent inferior recess so you, near to the eardrum. They've got a, a, quite a, a deep trench basin there. We call that the inferior recess. So just removing the wax and skin from their right. So this is less impacted, less embedded, so it came away a lot easier. So I've got the bulk of it out there. And that's the piece got, got left behind. Now in this ear, you will see a bit clearer uh, when we approach the eardrum, but they've got an attic retraction. The top part of the eardrum, which is called the pars recida, or the attic region, it's buckled inwards, it's sucked in, and that's because this patient's got negative middle ear pressure. The air pressure should um, be the same behind the eardrum uh, in comparison to in front of the eardrum. So um, what regulates the air pressure behind the eardrum is the eustachian tube, which is a narrow um, orifice that connects the middle ear to the back of the nose. And when the air pressure is equal either side of the eardrum, that's when our eardrums are most mobile, um, most compliant. But in this case, what's happened is the patient's eustachian tube is not equalizing the air pressures it should be. So the most common cause for that is congestion, inflammation, or an obstruction at the back of the nose where the eustachian tube connects. So the eustachian tube isn't opening as it should, uh, which prevents air from entering the middle ear space. All the remaining air in the middle ear, that gets absorbed by the cells in the middle ear until all the airs run out. And once there's no more air in the middle ear, it creates a vacuum effect. Uh, your eardrum gets sucked inwards. And in this case, the patient's attic was um, buckled inwards. And normally I would say the attic region and the posterior part of the eardrum, the back region, they're the two most prone areas for the eardrum to get sucked in. The attic in particular, because that part of the eardrum is a lot thinner compared to the remainder of the eardrum. So, um, the pars placida, it's flaccid, hence the name pars uh, placida, and that's because the middle membrane of the eardrum, which is made up of fibrous tissue, it's more diffuse um, in the pars placida, whereas the fibrous um, uh, layer of the eardrum and the pars tensor, the remaining part, it's more 
uh, closely aligned, radially aligned, so it has more structure, which gives the eardrum its strength and rigidity in that portion of the eardrum. And because the eardrum is thinner and um, for that reason and less um, uh, less taunt than the past tensor, it's more prone to getting sucked in when you've got a negative middle ear pressure. The patient has got some nasal congestion, so they've got some um, uh, over-the-counter steroid nasal sprays, which should hopefully do the trick for the patient. Um, and we've also recommended the Otovent nasal balloons. It's a balloon that you try and inflate using your nose, and it's designed to stretch open the eustachian tube where it connects to the back of the nose to allow to, the air pressure to equalise. In addition, it also tries to allow any fluid that accumulates behind the eardrum in the eustachian tube because it's blocked um, to drain out. So this is patient two. We rem removed the big boulder of wax keratin near the entrance. They have got quite a twisty, bendy ear. Just uh, going to try and remove some skin at the bottom of the ear canal. You can see is a dead layer of skin that's um, just failed to shed and migrate out of the ears and just using the fine end to prevent any clarinetting. Clarinetting is when um, dead skin in particular, as you're suctioning it, it flaps at the tip of the sucker and it's extremely loud. So uh, when you use a fine end, you mitigate that somewhat uh, or reduce it so it's, it's no longer um, excessively loud and uncomfortable. So I'm just trying to tear the skin away. You've got a nice healthy eardrum. So just a bit of residual skin there. And then in a moment, we're gonna move on to their right ear. So like patient one, this patient's left ear was fully occluding, uh, but their right ear less so. I'd say it's really three quarters blocked. look at the eardrum so you're going to get around the second bend so it's quite a twisty ear nice and healthy I probably can correct myself I thought this was three quarters brooding but it looks fully blocked to me actually so this wax is um, extending out of the ear is visible um, from the side of the ear you can see the first bend there so on the left-hand side, that piece of flesh cartilage where the, you get the little hair strands protruding outwards, that's the first bend. And to the right of the wax plug, it's just obscured by the wax plug, you got the second bend. So this earwax is almost on its way out, but I think because the ear is so bendy and twisty, it's getting trapped. Now, another narrowing we all have in our ear canal is the space between the first and second bend of the ear canal. That's another isthmus in the, in the ear, and quite often you can get wax trapped between the first and second bends as it's trying to migrate. Because that part of the ear is narrow, it gets trapped. So I'm just trying to tease this out. I think I'm gonna use an ear hook to prise it out. We shall see, I might be wrong. So it's almost there. I think it may break off, but no, I managed to remove, I, I thought I was used the ear hook for some reason, but I managed to get it out um, in one large piece. That's the patient's eardrum, that looks nice and healthy. So I'm just going to mop up around the edge. I think I was going to upload another video today and that was similar to this and where I did use an ear hook, but I've just managed to extract that um, just with the fine end suction probe, just teased it and wiggled it out. Nice, healthy ear. Patient can hear significantly better. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Keep well and speak soon. Thanks. Bye.